Hi guys, um, today I'm looking at mapping or attempting to map um, 20 acres of woodland. As you can see I'm just up next to this road. First I just wanted to check out how well you can follow it on these maps. Jumps around a little bit but generally very accurate. And a little compass up there as well. Should make use of. But as you can see the woodland it's very difficult to see any paths or drainage or different types of trees. You can almost I suppose you can see a way through. But if the, if you're not going in a straight line it's very easy to get disorientated. Something that I have noticed here and there are these posts. They all look the same but... Well, I'll find out when I've mapped it out if there is a pattern to them. Maybe they're equally spaced. I've got some areas which are a much darker green than others. Right, I'm going to cross this drainage ditch. Got oh, plenty of water on one side. Some water on the other, and it just looks like leaves at the bottom, but I've been caught out so many times in the past, expect it to be muddy, expect it to be deeper than you think, and uh, always test it first, so... Whoa! Let's see if I can use this tree to support me. Reaching the far side of the woodland now. Some industrial units coming into view. So checking each time I put my book down whether it's on firm ground. I wasn't sure how what we could see on the map actually translated. There's actually a way in up there, I've stopped the road. And all along the boundary up this water. So I'm gonna use this boundary path now just to check out around the edge of the woods. Here's an example of me getting caught out. It looked flat, firm ground. It is what looks like a dried out drainage ditch. But of course I took a couple of steps in and there's probably a foot of mud there. So I'm just going to backtrack a little bit to get around that. Now, 
just been looking at this, it looks man-made to me. It looks too much of a coincidence. For all that to have come together. Let's keep a look out for anything else like that. Come across this wire basket. And it's got wires running up the tree. And across the canopy. on the end of it. Just a junction box. You can see inside the junction box we've got it's a coax cable and a power cable. So it must be for the wildlife camera. Quite often find, even in the deepest of woods, a piece of rubbish, usually plastic. But you can actually use it to navigate by as well. You know, all the trees look the same. But this bright little piece of plastic on the floor probably won't move around much. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can spot this big oak tree quite far. You can see it in all directions from quite far away. It's almost a central point in the woodland. In the summer, you can't see it so easily. Well, it's turned out quite good with this oak tree in the centre. I've only used pencil at the moment. It's all a bit rough but I've got a general map of the woods. I've still got this area here that I've not actually explored. But I took myself all the way around in line with the perimeter back around to here and um, recognised the oak tree in the distance so I came back in because the foliage is quite dense here. Um, it ended up, up a bit scrumpled, I've got some mud stains, some dampness on it. It's been on the floor a couple of times. Um, so I just need another recce on another day to see if there's any detail here I can fill in and any detail around the back or whether it's just too dense to get around the back. So I'm quite happy with that overall.